I cannot ever imagine my life without music. My first percussion lesson was so interesting because, of course, I was a buzzing 12-year-old and I was having big problems with my hearing at that time. My teacher just said, here's a drum, a snare drum. I discovered that actually it resonated quite differently depending on the surface that the drum was on. That was a really interesting discovery. All of this was drawing out the feeling, and the feeling is quite different to the hearing. It was really essential for me to have the tools in order to progress as a musician. There were very few avenues for a percussion player to get support from in those days. So when the then Benevolent Fund for Musicians was there, they very, very kindly opened the door and, and kind of understood my story, you know, understood the mechanics of being a percussion player, and so very much helped in finding a second-hand xylophone from the BBC. It arrived in pieces. Once it was up, I remember I got the wood cleaner out and I was sort of cleaning the bars and every part of the metal. I treasured that. A lot of music has been played on this and I, I'm just, <laughs> just feeling it, it's lovely. Finding a xylophone that I could use at home to practice, that was amazing. That xylophone was something that, you know, I'm, I'm always extremely grateful for. It played a, a a huge part of my journey.